Bands with the lead singer removed. That seems hard. That seems very difficult. Yeah, they didn't have a single Jason Derulo. What happened to my Jason? Bands with the singer removed. This is the verve. Next. The who. Easy mode. Okay, who's next? Radiohead. Next. Imagine Dragons. <laughs> it's just got the vibe. <laughs> Sorry. That would be the Sex Pistols. This is R.E.M.? I didn't know Ted Raimi was in R.E.M. Duran Duran? I pass. This is Kings of Leon. What? I know this guy. I know this guy. You imagine dragons? <laughs> it's too old. The photo's too old. Is this Blondie? It just made sense. The Rolling Stones. Duran Duran. Wait, The Cure? Yeah, okay. Surprise, it's me. It's me, the lead singer of Muse. I'm better at doing it when I don't see the lead singer of Muse. That's not Radiohead, sorry. Rage Against <laughs> the Machine. Okay. I don't know you. I feel like I do, but I don't. This looks like Maroon 5. This looks like Leonard Skinner. This is no doubt. This is the Smiths. You could tell from the silhouette's hair. Couldn't tell you? I couldn't tell you. This is the Gorillas. Okay, that's an easy one. I give up. I'm ready. 13 out of 20, I'm impressed with myself. That's Queen. Yeah, okay. That's fair. Nickelback. It made perfect sense. Bon Jovi. Like, like every band from the 80s has this photo. This tells me nothing. The Killers! I knew I knew this guy! That's where I know him from. He's from the band The Killers. That's the top. Okay, that one really hurts. But that makes perfect sense. He, I can even see him. It, it's like he's in his damn suit right now. Grabbing the sides of his head. That one, that one brings me some pain for sure. Led Zeppelin. Didn't I type that? Leonard Skinner, Led Zeppelin. What's the difference? That's the Doors. I do it did pretty well, honestly. Bands with lead singers removed too. This is it ACDC? This guy, the guy with the ties, not the lead singer? I thought he was the lead singer this whole time. I fucking hate these photos. Stop making them take photos, dude. They're old. Don't make, don't make the drummer do the eyes and stuff like that. Come on. This is the Eagles? No, this is Steely Dan? No, this is, I don't know. It's just, a, it's Blondie. I don't know. It's just, they're just guys, man. They're just enjoying their life. This is the Red Hot Chili Peppers. This feels like it should be a gimme. Is this the yeah, yeah, yes? This is you too? That's... I pass. If I don't know it immediately, I pass. You look like you guys are in Coldplay. You guys look like you're in the police. This is working. You guys look like you're in the Foo Fighter. No, that's Nirvana. 
okay, you guys look like you're in a band that would be called um, the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. I call this the you guys look like you're in principle. You guys look like you're in Fall Out Boy. You guys look like you're... You're, you guys, you, 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 uh, <laughs> you guys look like you wrote Spiderland. You guys look like the Eagles. This shit is impossible, dude. It, it can't be done. This is Tears for Fears. What? Um, excuse me, it's Tears for Fears. I don't know what you want me to tell you. you. Your quiz is wrong. I pass? No, I know this guy. No, I don't. I give up. <laughs> CCR, okay. We finally lost to the average. The Carpenters! Van Halen! I just, I honestly, I've just seen so much of Van Halen. I just don't want to see him again. Motley Crue, Van Halen, same thing. Okay, I just don't know who Madness is. This is Eurythmics. That actually makes perfect sense. It's Joy Division. Did I not say it looks like they wrote Spiderland? That's... I'm not saying I was right, because I was obviously wrong, but it was an iconic album that defined a, a generation. This guy, this guy plays guitar on Spiderland, without a doubt. Aerosmith. Why is this guy dressed as a, <laughs> a cruise ship magician? It just pisses me off. It's not rock and roll, okay? It's not rock and roll to be old and be wearing this kind of stuff. You gotta, like this guy, okay, this guy, he's like, he's in shape. He's, he's got the singlet on with the studded leather, leather belt. That's rock and roll. This guy's aging gracefully, but you can tell he's still like casual at heart, okay? But that's not rock and roll. You do dress like McLovin, man. It's a kind of rock and roll. It's, it's rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. What is this? I'm sorry, I'm going too far. Is it the facial hair? I don't know, man. It's like the the billowy sleeves, the the corduroy vest. It's all it's all fucked up, man. It just says McLovin. That's in excess, okay? It's the Pet Shop Boys, also known as Tears for Fears. That's the jam. He's not rocking it. I'm sorry. Okay, maybe we should do some food quizzes. <laughs> food. I just typed food in the box. And then I searched type slideshow. And then, can I sort by most fucked up? Hold on, I'm, I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. How about this? Can, can you name the foods you might find at a barbecue? Probably not. Let's let America make fun of me for a change. This is a T-bone steak. This is called corn. <laughs> okay, so far so good. These are hamburgers. This might be a little easy. This, these are shrimp. On the Barbie, those are peppers. Those are artichokes. It's a lobster tail. Those are potatoes. Those are ribs. My God, he's so good. That's a watermelon. He's insane. That's a rack of lamb. It's a salmon steak. That's a pineapple ring. Those are carrots. It's a hot dog, also known as a frankfurter. Those are Brussels sprouts. That's lettuce. <laughs> Those are 
Those are chickens made to look like they're in love. It's asparagus. He's insane. There's a tomato. There's an octopus. It's a mushroom. A portobello, to be specific. Those are peaches. This is the easiest quiz I've ever seen in my life. It's tofu. Those are onions. <laughs> Come on, man. I thought it would give me some fucked up shit. And I would be like, burnt ends? And no, though they'd be like, no, those are North Carolina nibblers. That's what I thought this quiz would be like. Instead, it's like, oh, those are crab legs. That's a zucchini. That's pork. <laughs> those are clams. Oh, sorry, mussels. That's frogs. It's a damn bratwurst. Okay, it's the easiest quiz I've ever seen in my entire life. It for real has 88% average. That's a scary thought. Cooking time. Can you name the ingredient and the final products from the image below? Artichoke. Neapolitan ice cream. Clams. Leaves. Is that perilla leaf? Leaves. Salad. Okay. Eggplant. Okay, they, uh, except I, I want to know what this is. But like the rest of these are too easy, okay? Chickpeas. Spinach. I, it's like lemon loaf. Bacon. Rice. S tomato soup. It Italian parsley. Butter. Eggs. Potatoes. Maybe it's not that easy. You're some kind of nut. Cheese. Wait, this shit is impossible. <laughs> Grape leaves. Pound cake. Salt. Salt pork? That's not salt pork. That's bacon. We should have done that. I don't know what the hell a Zonta current is. I'm not clicking Boston cream pie on stream, okay? Food close-ups. How about that? Strawberry, bacon, pomegranate, cauliflower, 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 bread, raisins, pumpkin pie, popcorn. That's a peach. It's an artichoke. They get a discount on artichoke, uh, artichoke photos. That is a cinnamon stick. It's peanut butter, star fruit. Macaron and red onion. <laughs> Pathetic. Too easy. Too easy. Types of bread. What is a baguette? What is a pita? What is a hala? What is a bagel? What is a focaccia? What is a naan? What is an English muffin or a crumpet? Excuse me? Crumpet? Excuse me? What is a scone? What is a, what is a bread? What is a loaf? What is a loaf of bread? What is whole wheat? What is whole grain? What is, what is, how am I supposed to know? What is a crepe? A tortilla? They gave me a tortilla of a crepe? We got, um, I knew it. We got matzah. We got English muffins. Okay, we got, what have I missed here? What the hell is this, this bun? Ciabatta? Is that a, that's a ciabatta, not a focaccia. We got, we got bread. We got, um, I know this one. I know this one. I know this one. This one is so delicious. Is this not focaccia? Am I insane? Is, are you not focaccia? I think I spelled it wrong. What is white bread? What the hell are you? Rye? Oh, okay. <laughs> Easy. You think I don't love bread? Anyone says I don't love bread, show them this quiz, okay? I want to see pictures of Spider-Man. Fast food logos close up? No, I sleep. How about frozen fast food? Can you match the frozen? No, okay. Sporkle on my subway? Can you name the Subway restaurant sandwich condiments and ingredients that begin with the letters of Sporkle? 
ranch dressing, lettuce, olives, pickles, spinach, cold cuts, salami, pork. This shit is impossible. Can you get prosciutto at Subway? Can you get porchetta? Can you get, I give up onion sauce? Yeah, onions and onion sauce. Sweet onion sauce, okay. What the hell is the E? The E's throw me for a damn loop, man. R, red onion. Red peppers. <laughs> no, come on. Peppers! Peppers! Cucumbers. 10 of 26, I'm losing my mind. Cheese. Cheese, please enter by type. Orange cheese. Provolone. Cheese. White cheese. Mozzarella cheese. 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 Cheddar. Good one, Chad. That was a good one. That was a good one. Swiss? They got Swiss cheese there, too. I give up. This is impossible. I never... A hundred years of my life, I would never have gotten seafood sensation. Probably would never have gotten egg omelet patty. <laughs> seafood sensation. McDonald's calorie counting. Can you match the number of calories for these McDonald's staples? Okay, let, we can do this. We got three minutes. Let's start low. 20. Let me get apple slices or a dip. Let me get a dip. Dip, dip. The barbecue sauce dip. 20 calories. Garden side salad. 20 calories. A packet of barbecue sauce has more calories than a garden side salad? I want to see the. I want to see them do that in the lab. That still seems wrong to me. Oh shit. Okay. What What's eight sixty? Could it Could a Big Mac be eight hundred and sixty? Or is it a premium Caesar salad with grilled chicken? I'm gonna say it's a. I'm gonna say it's a Big Mac. I'm gonna say it's a Caesar salad with grilled chicken. Oh, I'm going to say it's a Strawberry McCafe shake with the 22 fluid ounce cup. Okay, bad start. The barbecue sauce dip, 50 calories. Now shit's getting hard. Coca-Cola large. I'm going to say that's a... That's a 280 to 310, Marty. I'm going to go 310. We've only got 90 seconds left. Single cheeseburger. Say the patties, 150. Cheese is another 80. Two buns adds another 200. 430? Put me at 450. Put me at 380. Put me, put me at 300? That's crazy. Okay. Six chicken nuggets. I'm going to say they're about 90 calories each. Put me on 450. Put me on 380. Put me on 500. Put me on 510. Put me on 280. Holy cow. <laughs> we beat the app. Dude, I could do this all day. Calories. You just put calories. Over, under 100 calories. Now we're talking. Let me move myself. It's gonna be, it's gonna be hard to see, but I think if I put myself here, we might be okay. One Snickers bar, that's an over 100 calories. A regular beer, that's over 100 calories. Couscous cooked. Is a grain, six ounces. I'm gonna say it's over. 
Doritos is over. Come on. Jack Daniels, one fluid ounce, 30 milliliters. It's over. It's under? I thought alcohol was like, like seven per gram or something. Seven calories per gram. A Guinness is way over. Come on. Big Mac, over. Banana is going to be under. Corn on the cob, one ear of corn. I'll take an over. Pepperoni pizza slice, way over. Coffee's going to be under. Cheese croissant, come on. That's going to be over. Pancake, one six-inch diameter pancake. One six-inch diameter pancake. That's over. Red wine, 100 milliliters of red wine. Put me in the under, but barely. 2% milk, put me in the over. Raisins, over. Olive oil, way over. Bacon, three strips, way over. Honey, one tablespoon of honey. I got to say over. Okay, you got me. Six ounces of prunes. Six ounces is kind of a lot. I'm going over? <laughs> oh my God, 418. Asparagus, four spears. Give me the under. Skinless turkey breast, four, 113 grams. That's over. Come on. 12 ounce Coca-Cola. That's over. 15 grams of sugar is 60 calories. That's an under. A raw egg. One large raw egg, 80 calories. I'm going under. White, one slice of white bread, over. So close. Heinz baked beans, 100 grams. That's, that's under. Three ounces of chicken breast. That's over. Okay, so far, still pretty good, though. Still pretty good. Instant oatmeal. 235 grams, that's like half a pound, that's over. An apple, that's under. Brown sugar, one tablespoon, that'll be under. Grape juice unsweetened, eight fluid ounces. Fluid ounces. I'm going to go ahead and say that that um, 236 milliliters, it must be an over. Wonton soup will be an under. Sliced avocado will be an over. Baked potato with a, 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 a six ounce baked potato, that'll be over. 1% cottage cheese is dairy. I'm going to say over. I'm a fool. Tablespoon of ketchup, way under. Table salt, zero. Cooked 500, oh wait, 163 grams of cooked lobster. It's going to be mostly protein. It's over. Come on. Hostess Twinkie, don't make me laugh. Nutella, it's over to the extreme. Steamed white rice, it's mostly carbohydrates, it's over. Hot dog is going to be over, even sans bun. Plain bagel, way over. Watermelon slice, way under. Sirloin steak, six ounces, that's going to be an over. Fun size bag of Skittles. 20 grams of pure sugar, that's going to be an under. 34 grams with fat in it, that's an over. Peanut butter is going to be an over. Sprite, 12 ounces of Sprite is an over. 141 grams of strawberries. It's got to be over. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Pecan pie. That's an over. Water is going to be an under. Half of an Atlantic salmon filet. <laughs> it's over. Bread, wheat with crust. I'm say it's under. Gatorade. Gatorade's a tough one. I'm going to say over. Never mind. We did 88% versus 63. It's not so bad. Pretty good performance. But I like matching the menu items more. I'm not going to lie. But this, this gave me a chance to start thinking from first principles again. Can you name the number of calories in these fast food items to nearest multiple of 100? <laughs> okay. You hiding butter in there, you piece of shit? Ham and cheddar omelet, 10 ounces from Denny's. I'm going to say that that's three eggs... Slice of cheese and a slice of ham, I'm going to say is 430 calories. 400. Answer 590. Meat lover's stuffed crust slice. One eighth of a 14 inch pizza. I think you're going to be, I think a slice is 450. 500. Coffee cooler. What the hell is a coffee cooler? I don't even know what's in you. I'm going to say 200. 420. Okay, breakfast burrito from Del Taco. Tortilla is going to be like 200. 
You got some sausage in there as another 200 on top. Miscellaneous stuff. I'm going to say we're in the 600s. Two, wow, that's, that's much lower than I thought. Beef and cheddar sandwich medium. Okay, here's the thing. It's got some cheese sauce on it. Let's say that's, a, that's 150. Let's say it's got 200 calories of beef and then the bun. That's not so bad. I'm going to say that we're at the... I'm going to say we're in the 400s. 530. The butter burger. Never heard of it in my entire life. I'm going to say that's 800. Hot fudge sundae from Dairy Queen. Let's say we got... Um, Four hundred calories of ice cream. To, no, three hundred calories of ice cream. Hundred calories of nuts. Hundred fifty calories of hot fudge. I stopped counting. I'm going to say that it's in the six hundreds. <laughs> Nine ounce sirloin steak from the Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> um, I'll get my ass beat. By the way, oh my God, there's so many too. That's going to be five hundred. Butter three buttermilk pancakes. 400. Original glazed donut from Krispy Kreme. Let me be in the 300s. Mango a go go smoothie. Put me in the 400s. Double Whopper with cheese and mayonnaise. Let me be in the 700s. 1,010? Chocolate, four ounce scoop of chocolate ice cream. Put me in the 300s. Curly fries, large curly fries. Put me in the 300s again. Crunch Wrap Supreme. I'm going to say 500s. Fettuccine Alfredo from Fazoli's Italian Food. Put me in the 1200s. Oh, come on. Bagel dog with cheddar cheese. 400s. No, 500s. I don't even know what that is. Thank you for the points. Roasted turkey open face sandwich. 400s. Tuna with mayo blend. Seven and a half inch sub from, from Cousins Subs. Seven and a half inch sub. I gotta say it's in the four hundreds. Six forty-five. It's a seven and a half inch sub. It's classic Cinnabon. Eight hundred. Let's go. Cheese pizza slice from Domino's. Two hundreds. Crinkle cut fries from Culver's. I don't know if I got my eyeballs to know. Three hundred. Chili cheese fries from Carl's Jr. Put me in the five hundred. No, put me in the seven hundreds. Nine eighty. Bacon cheeseburger. A and W. <laughs> Mm, mm, 700 chocolate frosted donut from duncan let me get a let me get a 400 okay we're gonna we're gonna ace this side olive garden chicken parmigiana dinner portion 1300 original pretzel with butter put me in the 200s chocolate shake medium put me in the 600s biscuit and gravy 500 jalapeno steak quesadilla 1,000. 1,520? What the hell is wrong with you? Or a quesadilla? Gourmet veggie club sandwich. Standard toppings and mayo. 900. No. Veggie? 700. filet of fish 400. Greek salad at Cozy with a squaggle on the side. Let me hit you with uh, 400 with dressing. French fries from McDonald's. Medium size. Let me get a 300. Bob BQ pulled pork sandwich. Bob Evans, only old people eat there. It simply must have 1,200 calories. Okay, chicken breast with original breading from KFC. 200 calorie piece. Blueberry cobbler bagel. 300. Macho beef burrito. Put me at a 600. Char grilled chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A without sauce. 400. The Big Mac. <laughs> this is 600 chocolate chip muffin from dunkin donuts 400 me buffalo chicken wings from applebee's thousand bread one breadstick from domino's with no sauce 100 new three nutella crepes 400 990 onion rings regular onion rings from dairy queen 400 cheeseburger from five guys 500 Wisconsin mac and cheese, 900. Ding, ding, ding. Original cheesecake slice from the Cheesecake Factory, 600. Chicken strips, three chicken strips, four, I say 400. 
all beef hot dog. Let me get a 300. We kind of we kind of brought it back in the end a little bit. 46 versus 31. It's not too bad. Ch yeah, it turns out chilies will kill you. <laughs> Apparently. Can you put the McDonald's foods from most to least calories? Also, Cheesecake Factory will kill you. But it does taste good. Least calories. Least calories. Start me off. I know this is going to sound crazy. Start me off with the small French fry. I'm going to try again. Start me off with the hash brown. Go again. Um, this is bullshit. There's no way a hash brown has more calories than any of the sandwiches. Start me off with an egg McMuffin. <laughs> really? Wait, is it from most to least? I'm a fool. Okay. Start me off with the... Start me off with a Big Mac. Follow the Big Mac up with a quarter pound, with a McDouble. I'm going to try again. I don't really know what's in a McDouble, to be honest. It's Big Mac, quarter pounder with cheese. McDouble. It's Big Mac. It's a quarter pounder with cheese. It's a McRib. It's a McDouble. What the fuck is in a McDouble? A McDouble is small. Why do they name it that? It's a Big Mac. It's a quarter pounder with cheese. It's a McRib. It's followed by a McChicken. We're going to replay. It's a Big Mac. It's a quarter pounder with cheese. It's a McRib. It's a filet fish It's a McChicken. I'm out of this fucking quiz. Get me the hell out of here. How can a double cheeseburger be small? Mm-mm. <clears throat> That doesn't make any sense. Can you pick the fast food restaurant you can get these 1,500 calorie meals at? No. I cannot. Cal can, you, can you guess the calories holiday edition? No. No, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't do that. I want you to be pictures only. Okay. Put me back in food. Signature food by state is a good one. Signature food by state. According to deadspin.com, can you find what dish matches each indicated U.S. state? Okay, I'll try. I'll say this one's already started, by the way. Vermont. Canadian maple syrup. Illinois. Deep dish Pizza. South Carolina. Wisconsin. I feel like Wisconsin could be a corn dog. I pass. Iowa. Could not tell you. Maryland. Crab cakes from Maryland. New York. Cheese pizza. Ohio. Chile, Massachusetts, clam chowder, Arizona. What, I, I gotta know what country, what state is just salmon. But I feel like Arizona could be a shrimp taco or it could be an enchilada. Louisiana, let's say it's gumbo. Washington must be the salmon. South Carolina, Wisconsin. Wisconsin is the corn dog. Oh, it's a bratwurst. Iowa's a corn dog. Arizona is the chimichanga. South Carolina is shrimp and grits. Those, that is not a shrimp taco. 92%. Nothing wrong with that. How about this? Neither Coke nor Pepsi. Pick the soft drinks not manufactured by Coke or Pepsi. Uh, who cares? <laughs> Come on. Car makes by country. Enter country. 
Porsche is made in Germany. That's an A. Fiat is made in Italy. That's an A. Fiat is made in... <laughs> you are Lincoln. You're made in America. Tata must be India. Subaru is made in Japan. Volkswagen as a uh, Germany. He's doing it. Opel. That's France. Oh, that's Germany. I didn't know. I didn't know. Tesla is America. I know you're you're a Renault. That's France. Honda is made in Japan. Well, manufactured by a Japanese company. Lamborghini. I'm going to go ahead and guess that's probably Italy. Suzuki. Japan. Too easy. Kia, South Korea. I don't know what you are. I'm going to say you're a Spanish car. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Toyota is Japan. That was called Seat. Cadillac, there's got to be American. They shouldn't have it be multiple choice. It's too easy. That's Sweden. Come on. You think I don't know Volvo is Sweden? Bentley, that's got to be British. I don't know what you are. I'm going to say you're made in Czechia. Skoda, okay. Rolls Royce, that's in England. Lada, it's got to be a Russian car. Hyundai is made in South Korea. Land Rover is made in England. They should be making them better. Jaguar, made in England. Should be making them cheaper. Buick or Oldsmobile. Buick, this is in the United States of America. Alfa Romeo, that'll be an Italian job. Mini, I believe that would be an English car. Audi, it would be German. Peugeot, Lion, Holden, there you go. Ferrari, that would be Italian. Two up arrows. I'm going to say that's France. <laughs> Peugeot, that's France. Mercedes, be Germany. Lexus is Japanese. Chevy is American. Maserati would be Italian. Ford would be American. Infinity is Japanese. Psych! I'm going to say that's Russian. No, Czech. Czech. I'm going to say it's from Czech. Yeah. Czech is Chinese. Psych! That was too easy. Sitcoms by people with characters' names? What? Rudy. Gobert. Rudy? Giuliani? Is the show Giuliani? What the hell is going on in this show? British or American sitcoms by pictures of four people who share common names with four of the show's main characters. Rudy? I don't know. We got Rachel, Joey, Ross, and Monica. That's friends. Okay, I can do this. I can do this now. That's George Harrison, Wayne, Lionel, and John. I could not tell you. <laughs> Is little Wayne okay? I'm sorry. This just doesn't look like the photo of somebody that's okay. Doesn't he look like he just got like punched in the stomach or something? We have Leonard. This must be the Big Bang Theory. That's Norm. It's Norm. And then this guy. You've seen him around. That's Bob, Tina, Gene. I don't know. I, don't, I couldn't tell you. I believe that's Jerry Rice. Jerry, George, Elaine, Kramer. That would be Seinfeld. Gloria, Cameron, 
Manny, and Claire. This is Modern Family. <laughs> Stan, Roger, Steve. I don't know who Be Nice is. I don't know. Steve, Stan, and Roger. I don't know this one. I'm sorry, I don't. Michael? <laughs> is that Joe Namath? Michael? Michael at the office? Oh, I really thought that was going to be it. Rose? Sophia? Naomi? No, that's... You're not Naomi Watts. You're Jillian Anderson. I don't know what this is. Peter? Megan? Brian? This is Family Guy. He's insane. David, Tim, and Roger. David, Tim, Roger. I don't know. I don't know the answer. Will, Hillary, Philip. This seems so easy. Will, Hillary, and Philip. I pass. I got a pass on this one. Buddy, Meg. This is family guy again. Wait, no, that's not Buddy Ollie. That's Roy Orbison. Roy, Meg. Wait, no, their name, their name's not Meg. It's Jen. Roy and Jen. I don't know, man. This is this shit is impossible. Jeremy, Bill, Ryan, and Dizzy. I don't know. I can't. I don't know, man. Steve. The show's got a Steve on it. What is this photo of Jack Nicholson, man? This is Jack and Gloria and two old people. This is Maggie Gyllenhaal. Socrates <laughs> and the WNBA champions. What show has Maggie Gyllenhaal as Socrates, Bart Starr? I don't know. Okay, that's Eric and Kenny. This is South Park. He's insane. He's got it. Okay, this is Rudy. Tony? Is that Tony Braxton? No, Vanessa. You're Vanessa Williams? I don't know. I don't know who you are, honestly. I pass. George Wayne... Lionel, Norm, <laughs> you're Diane Keaton, Norm, Di your cheers, okay, Bob, Tina, Lana Del Rey, and Jean, Bob, Tina, Jean, is this from that 70s show? There got to be a Bob, a Tina, and a Jean on that 70s show. Stan, are you Haley? Haley Williams from Paramore. Stan, Roger, this is American Dad. Haley and Steve. Joel? Jane? Rose? Gillian? <laughs> Sophia? Nancy, David, Tim, Roger, David, Tim, Roger, David, Tim, and Roger, David, Tim, and Roger, David, Tim, and Roger, it's David, Tim, and Roger, Will, Hillary, Philip, 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 I'm giving up, man. Fred Oh, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Okay, take me all the way back here. Come on. Okay, we got friends. 
The Cosby Show. Cliff, Vanessa, Theo, and Rudy. Oh, okay, 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 okay. The Jeffersons. George, Wheezy, Lionel, and Henry. That's fucked up. His name is not Wheezy. His name is, is W-E-E-Z-Y, for one. His name is Little Wayne. Bob's Burgers. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Bob, Tina, Linda, Jean. All in the family. Archie, Edith, Gloria, and Michael. Okay, so I had one name correct there. Rose, Blanche. What? Sophia and Dorothy. Oh, Blanche Dubois from A Streetcar Named Desire. That's fucked up. That's two trivia questions in one. That's a nested trivia question. How am I supposed to know this is Gillian Anderson as Blanche Dubois? It's because you got a bottle of Southern Comfort? That shit is impossible. The Office. David, Tim, Don, Lee. Lee? I thought you were Roger the whole time. Okay, Fresh Prince. The It Crowd. Maurice, Roy, Jen, and Denholm. Okay, that's a mouth question. Mash. Hawkeye, Hot Lips, O'Reilly, and BJ. Right, his name is definitely not Ryan. That's his name on The Office. His name is Hot Lips? Quiz was already hard enough. My three sons, Barbara, Chip, Steve, and Sally Ann. Will and Grace. Will, Grace, Jack, and Karen. You're Karen? I thought your name was Gloria. Are you not, or Gilda? Are you not Gilda Radner? Who is this? The names were below the pictures the whole time. Oh my fucking God. I made this quiz so much harder on myself than it had to be for no reason. The Simpsons. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Maggie. Bart Starr, Homer, and Lisa. Leslie. Lisa Leslie. That's right. You said Bart? Yeah, I know, but like I was I was like Plato. Who the hell is Plato, man? What kind of show were what kind of show was Socrates in? <laughs> Maggie, Bart, Lisa, and Socrates. Given proper slaughtering, are these animals kosher according to Jewish dietary law? This will probably be the last one today. I don't think it's going to show the slaughtering, okay? Goat. That's not kosher. Wrong. Bat? Say it's not kosher. The bat is unkosher. Snail? I say not kosher. Deer? That's got to be kosher. Deer is kosher. Gazelle? I'm going to say not kosher. Mm, sorry, that my mistake. Rabbit? That's kosher. Nope, sorry, my mistake. Salmon? That's kosher. That's very kosher. Bear? <laughs> Probably says not kosher, okay? Frog? Not kosher. Goose? We're going to say that's kosher. Turkey? It's kosher. Owl. Say kosher? Why? But they're, all, they're birds. They're birds. How? There's a difference between an owl and a turkey? Was this shit all listed in the, in the, the rule book? Was it every animal or is there like a flow chart I can follow? Kosher. Ducks are kosher. All fish are kosher. That's, that's not... Don't quote me on that one. Lion, we're going to say not kosher. I'm going to say that a gopher is, is not kosher. Pigeon, you're going to say not kosher on sanitary basis. Okay, apparently a pigeon is kosher. Um, cool fish, I'm going to say that's kosher. Oh, catfish, that's unkosher. Pork, not kosher. That one, that's the one I had in mind. Vulture, we're going to say not kosher. 
Ibex. You know what? You've been good. I'm going to say kosher. Sheep, we're going to say that's kosher. Chicken, we're going to say that's kosher. Turtle, I'm going to say don't do it. By the way, you're not going to believe me, and my wife didn't either. I was walking around. I had the baby out for her nap. She was asleep in her stroller. We were walking past uh, a, a landmark in Vancouver. Always like to go by it and say, like, hey, how you doing? There was a woman walking the other way. I swear to you, she was holding a tortoise. And the tortoise was like, it was probably like this big. And she was just walking with it. And then as she walked by this building, uh, there were three girls in front of it. And they went, is that a real turtle? And she said, yeah, check it out. And she put it down on the ground and he was going like, I have no idea why she had it. It was like a big turtle. I was going to wake up my daughter, but then I was like, ah, oh, she just went down for her nap. But she loves turtles. She would have freaked out. This bull. I'm going to say you're kosher. I'm going to say a camel is kosher. Wrong. You can't. This is, this is like a biblical animal. I say no. That's an ibex? Not kosher. The lizard is unkosher. I'm insane. <laughs> oh, man. I beat the average on that, which seems unbelievable. You can't eat reptiles or amphibians or anything that eats other food. I did not know that. Wasn't there, There's something about cloven hooves, too, right? All I know is a... Uh, a goat is a very central figure in the Vavitch, and the Vavitch does, sorry, eats other animals. This is what I meant to say, not eats other food. The Vavitch is steeped in religion. It's not Judaism, but you know, Abraham is kind of like, see, if you go back longer, if you go back to the Old Testament, there's an the origin story of both Christianity and Judaism are tied up in uh, the Old Testament. Abraham was the father of 